of folks that are wanting to do a startup or they're they're pitching a potential investment into their company and i wonder how how many investors are asking well talk to me a little more about your sales process and your your technology how are you going to implement this business development process with technology and take advantage of the trends do you see that conversation happening as much as you would like, or do you think that's like a real potential advantage for someone pitching if they can really clearly communicate yeah. that? Well, it's really, really interesting. If I think about the consumer world, the direct to consumer businesses, that is their entire pitch. Um, you know, you think about the Casper mattresses or the Pelotons or the whatever, that is their entire pitch. It's like, yeah, I have a, I sell a mattress, but the way I sell it and engage is the magic here. You know, it's the Netflix, it's all that kind of stuff. What's interesting is you're starting to see some of that, those lessons come into the B2B world as well. And, you know, as Brian always says, it's how you sell these days is why you win. It's not anymore that, you know, your product has to be 10 X better. It's that whole customer experience has to be 10 X better. So, what I'm hearing and seeing, um, and in, even in some of the really remarkable startups in the Boston area is, uh, we're gonna change the way, we're gonna change, we're gonna disrupt the customer experience rather than the product itself. And boy, that's resonating with, with uh, VCs these days, for sure. Um, I heard this quote the other day, someone said, our value is our process, not our product. And the beauty to me of marketing automation and sales automation and strategic campaigns and mm -hmm. clear messaging, I think are the four fundamentals that you have to have to do is, but the beauty of those things complement, expedite, they're like force multipliers on a process and pretty much any process. Mm -hmm. What's like one of the most unusual processes where you've seen someone adopt that similarly and have great re results that you wouldn't have expected. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can just take the, the one that uh, I'm most familiar with because Brian just won't stop talking about it because he's a big dog guy is this yeah. company, Dewey. What's right? the name of the company? Dewey.com. Uh, they have basically, uh, they're, they're dominating the, uh, basically the dog food and dog goods market just because of their customer experience, the way they basically build a relationship with your pet. And you're like, oh, wow, that's very interesting. Um, and to the extent you can, ex you can extend that idea into any business, uh, it just makes a ton of sense. So, um, you know, there are just these, these examples where, you know, literally a commodity uh, that, that they sell, but they transform the way people shop for that commodity and boy it's a huge hit warby parker is another one all all of these kind of direct to consumer uh companies and so now you know we start to see some of our customers extend taking those ideas and we're trying to do the same taking those ideas to the b2b world another super interesting company in the b2b world that we have gone to school on and we have one of their we have their president uh on our board is atlassian which is a an enterprise software company I think they have a market capitalization of 35 billion or something like that a couple billion dollars of revenue they don't have a single salesperson in their mind software is something that is bought not sold and they uh run that playbook and so it's really about their their buying experience as much as their software buying bought not sold 